What is up YouTube? Is on your bomb here. Welcome back to another fairy tale reaction. It is that time of the week again. We got episode two of Hundred Year Quest. Ah, and here we're, we're truly getting started. Like last time was the first episode of Fairy Tale in, in so many years. Now we're like getting into like the weekly release now, and it, it's out again. And I, I'm excited. I'm excited. Last time we got introduced to what the hundred year quest was, and we got Team Natsu is gonna be trying to I think capture these dragon gods. And they're all supposed to be as strong as Acnologia. So, if you know Fairy Tale, which you should if you're watching this, you know that Acnologia is pretty, pretty tough. And then there is someone new who joined the guild, Toya, I think. She, uh, her and Juvia were kind of getting into it a bit. Uh, and, and yeah, just always cool to see the guild again and seeing the start of the 100 year quest. We also saw some guys kind of spying on Team Natsu when they arrived in the city they arrived in, so they didn't look like the best. So let's, let's see what happens there. I'm so excited, bro. Like, I just, oh, when this releases, I, I just hype, hype. Hotel Journey. Fish! What in the world? <laughs> Is that the worker? Did you get it? No. Oh, he's. <laughs> Bruh. I was gonna say, I think that's the reception guy. I just thought he was a fish. You turn into a human. More of a fish. <laughs> Actually, just grab any room. Is there no other staff here? Oh, that's us as hell. No way. Moody. Why would he say it like that if that is something they actually need to do? Why? There's a skull on the cap, guys. I, I, I don't know. Look at Wendy's <laughs> Oh, are they underwater? Oh, does the potion thing make them breathe? We'll see. Why would they just... So, bro, sometimes anime characters versus using their words. Like, just speak. Just say something. Now, in all seriousness, I know they're trying to make it, like, mysterious for the audience. But, like, watching it, but why would you not just say, Hey, guys, this hotel literally goes underwater at night. So, if you want to breathe, you should drink this potion. Not, like, oh, if you're going to be staying here, make sure you drink the potion in your rooms. You can survive without it, too. Has a skull on it. Ooh! Like, what the heck? I wouldn't have drank that. I would have drowned. And I do not want to drown. Drowning does not seem fun at all. Very pa pa very painful. So, okay, so Gray, I'm assuming, took it. Did anyone not? Because it was sus as hell to me. Oh, the whole city's underwater. <laughs> So they have the, they got the potion of water breathing. Didn't even introduce himself, bro. He's not a good manager. They said fairy tale and fairy tale. That's Shikamaru. Oh, 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 oh,
So there were others who went trying to get the water god to or Toka. I said I think I said Toy at the beginning. Uh, uh, what in the world? She has a tail? <laughs> such a fan. <laughs> so what was that? Illusions? Saber tooth. Oh, Jalal. Hey, we got Sting, Rogue, and Jalal, and Frozen. Yo, we got more characters coming back. この人何者なんですか今は言えない。エルサ以外の女の種類がいると。ちょっと可愛いぞ。この方の名前は。そうか。おお、トーカ。どうかはわからんがな。トーカ。うん。いいか。おお、そう。見かけても絶対に接触し
Bruh. She just sliced up one of the god dragons that were supposed to be Acnologia level. What? Turned them into sushi. Oh. What? I mean, literally. I to eat it. Oh, I wasn't going Oh. Oh. Oh, how's Natsu gonna fight in these underwater? Oh, she's a dragon, so I... Oh, どこかの国では無から魔力のみで人工的に作り出した魔法兵器を第四世代と呼ぶようじゃ。シラは第五世代の。ファイフジェネレーション。龍を食って力を得た第五世代ドラゴンスレイ。ファイフジェネレーション。
So the fifth generation, so in OG Fairy Tail, we had, you know, Natsu, like he's first generation, passed down, they explain it again, passed down the dragon slayer powers from a dragon. Second generation is the Lacrima, I think that's Loxus, uh, that is an example of that. And then the third generation, I believe, is Sting and Rogue, who have the Lacrima and uh, dragons, like dragon. Lacrima. And then they said that there was fourth, fourth generation, um, some like soldier somewhere, I think. There's a country where they created magic weapons, like magic alone called the fourth generation. It looked like these, these like troopers, like these dragon troopers, and uh, they kind of look like the soldiers Zeref used at the end of, uh, fairy tale i'm not sure if that those are the same things if not though those were pretty interesting to see um fourth generation like machine guys just i don't know i don't know if it's armor machines or uh, I, I, I don't know it's a, they're called magical weapons but they look like soldiers i don't know what they have to do with uh dragon slayers and being the fourth generation uh but i had that very interesting hope we see more of that and then, fifth generation, these dragon eaters, which, that, a little crazy, like, eating the dragon and they get the power, like, man, they've heard of here, he, eating the finger in Jiu Jujutsu Kaisen, or eating the hair in My Hero, but now we got eating the whole dragon, <laughs> and that's where the power comes from, with the new character, uh, Kiria, I think her name was? She was pretty, pretty cool. Very, it's a blade dragon. Pretty interesting uh, villain here. And then there was, uh, there was Mad Mole, which is the, the other guy. Um, so yeah, very interesting new opponents here. We got Dragon Eaters and the Dragon God. I want to see, you know, Natsu got kind of nerfed to his underwater. I want to see Natsu versus one of these Dragon Eaters. I have full faith, <laughs> full faith in Natsu, but definitely stronger opponents is cool. And this whole, like, the city, like, going underwater and everyone's having to the fish is pretty funny. And, uh, seeing everyone's fish from Gemini, uh, <laughs> not something I thought I'd see in the show, but hey, we, we're here. That, that, that's funny. That's hella funny. Wendy got the, uh, the octopus or jellyfish, then, uh, <laughs> oh, that's funny, that's funny as well. Only a little bit at the guild, um, uh, this new member, Toka, I will, uh, get her name down eventually, but, uh, she is being observed by Juvia and Gajil, and there was some some sustenance going on they thought they saw a tail and then they looked and i saw it too we all saw it too so there was something i don't know if she can use illusions i don't know if she is a uh part animal i i, I don't know um but jalal is back and he was visiting saber tooth and he's like hunting for her so that's gonna be interesting because she's in fairy tale i i don't know i hope uh you know, they, they watch out, uh, Lazana, Mir Jane, they were talking to her a bit. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, they all be careful and beware of Toka. It was cool, really cool to see Jalal again and Sting and Rogue and Sabretooth as well. It's very cool. And, uh, yeah, this is another solid episode. It gets me really, uh, excited for more. And we kind of left off on a little bit of a cliffhanger. You know, they, they ran into the first Dragon God. I, I, I'm, this, would, this series would move a lot faster than I expected if they defeat a Dragon God, in the, even in the next few episodes. Let alone the last, uh, next episode. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But I, do, I would like to see a Natsu matched up against one just to see, like, the vibes. I want to see the... Uh, uh, you know, him against a, a dragon eater as well. Just to, you know, to see how he, he, he sizes up against like a dragon, a first generation dragon slayer against these guys. Just really, just cool. But yeah, another splendid episode of Fairy Tale and another long week we have to wait to get to the next episode. But 
I I'm, I, I, I'm just glad it's back, honestly. I'm just glad it's back. For now, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Like or dislike, subscribe or don't subscribe. You know it's always up to you. I will see you guys in the next video you watch of me. Good boy.